Polar Bear had a giant drop in sales, and their business is largely direct to consumer, which means it's through the website. And the fact that Strut hasn't addressed this before is not only concerning, but I'm not going to wait any longer. Hey, hey, hey what's nice your name, Peron? You. I'm Strud. And so I set up a meeting with a solid marketing company in Atlanta because I want to get objective third-party feedback on what they think about the website. And I'm curious to see how Strud reacts to it. So as you can see, there is no way to purchase anything from this page. You're telling them about this Bulletproof liner, but you're not really telling them why they should buy this. What's that angry what dog doing? doing? Well, hold on. That's not an angry dog. That's Brett's dog. And he said he can't bite through the uh, liner. What is the benefit? Does it keep the drinks colder longer? What, what it does it leak. do? It doesn't leak. Okay. Great, so, so that would leak be proof. Where does it say that? Well, the, the stamp that's on where, there. Leak where does it say that? Bear leak oh, that stamp. oh, that? You oh. can't read that? <laughs> well, I mean, if you read through it, it'll tell you more. But no so, one reads through here. Okay. Who we'll put this website together? <laughs> no one reads it. You're doing the customer a disservice by not leading them to a sale that can help them. But my point that I'm trying to make is we have a tough liner. The website that Strud has for his business is almost representative of him. No focus, no self-awareness of what the consumers or anybody else that has any expertise is saying. And he's justifying it because he's like justifying his behavior. Who's the profile customer? Okay. Not, not I think and I hope and I want. Okay. okay. What is it exactly? Right, what we'll, stats we'll, do For you which have? product? Because we have nylons and then we have the EC line. And then yeah. we have mossy oak coolers. Obviously, the mossy oak coolers will be uh, targeted and marketed towards hunting people. Groomsmen were one of the demographics we were after. Wait, wait. What? For groomsmen? Yeah. yeah. Does the data tell you that that's who your customer is? Uh, this is the data that just gathered just... We don't have... Um, did Strud just say that groomsmen is the right target for this business? Let's start to identify who are the most likely people to buy these products. I'm looking for things like outdoor enthusiasts, tailgaters, soccer moms, people that actually need the product. I tend to think that there should be something for a female in here. I like, like that. how could this work for your family? What about taking this with the kids? Okay, cool. A lot of people are uploading collegiate logos. I think there's a market there for the whole collegiate world. And so understanding what are the top colors and what are the top teams, and so there's a lot of research that can be done with color combinations. So you have my permission to start over and make a new site. Okay. When Life rebuilds the site, Hayden, I want you to take the Life Marketing relationship. I felt like the meeting is great. Life Marketing is going to work with Hayden on building something that speaks to the features and the benefits and that it's ready to go in a couple weeks. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah.